friends, welcome back to my channel. My name's Abby, and today I'm back for another What I Eat in a Day video. I'm gonna go throughout the day, counting calories, just showing you what I'm eating. Uh, today's Thursday, I have daycare kiddos coming in about 15 minutes. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to go read my Bible for a little bit, and once my first kiddo gets here, I will go make my breakfast and show you what it is. Bye. All right, guys, I'm gonna make a smoothie. I have some mixed fruit in here with eight ounces of water. Next, I'm gonna add a teaspoon of stevia just for a little extra sweetness. Then I'm gonna add a scoop of my greens. And then I'm gonna add a scoop of collagen. Stick it in here and mix it up. Okay, next I'm going to have a bagel. This is the Dave's Killer Organic Plain Bagel. I'm just gonna add some butter. Here's my new butter crock I got. Butter stays in there. You put some water down here and yeah, that's how it works. Keeps it pretty soft and yeah. So, bagel, smoothie. This comes out to be about 304 for calories I think and then it's like 24 grams of protein. So, doing good, starting off the day. Keeping myself full with some protein so. Yep, I will hop back on here. Hey guys, it's a little after nine. I'm just gonna drink this Alani. This is the mimosa flavor. Tastes pretty much like orange pop, but yeah, I'm just sitting here. The daycare kiddos, they're just playing. We're just hanging out. Um, yeah, I'm gonna drink this energy drink. And I'll hop back on here. Hey guys, so the daycare kiddos just finished up snack. It's like quarter after 10 right now. I'm still sipping on this Alani. What? She, who is? Who? You? I don't think. I think she's just teasing you. She's not gonna bite your teeth. Are you biting? Are you biting? No. Okay. Kids. Um. Anyways, I threw something in the crock pot. Real quick. Let me show you what it is. All right. There's what it looks like. It is two chicken breasts and some onion powder, garlic powder, garlic, onions. I use the frozen ones for my grocery haul, the frozen onions. Uh, some paprika, some chicken broth, and then some pesto on top. Hi, baby. Um, I'm gonna leave it cook on low for like six hours. I'll probably just let it simmer all day until I'm ready to eat dinner. But I got the recipe from Nutritional Sarah on TikTok, so I will put the link in the description below if you'd like to check that out but yeah i just wanted to tell you that i threw on some dinner um i am going to i need to wipe down the tables after snack and go back in there with the kiddos so i'll catch up with you in a bit hey guys it's quarter after 11 i'm eating a yogurt um hanging out with the kids we're gonna play we're gonna clean up soon and I'm gonna get them their lunches. It's just, it's been a morning, let's just say that. That's all I'm gonna say. But yeah, eat me yogurt and yeah. Hey anyway. guys, so it's about one o'clock. Um, the kiddos are down for a nap. My one the oldest girl sleeping on the couch and I think she's still awake, but I can't tell. I think her eyes are finally closed. Took her a little while longer to fall asleep than the other kids, but it's all good. I'm pretty sure she's asleep now. But got through the morning. Everybody's sleeping, fingers crossed, the baby naps the whole time. She's been doing this thing where she'll fall asleep really easily, sleep for 20, 25 minutes, wake up, and then I have to get her back to sleep, but she'll scream for like five minutes before I get her back to sleep, and then I'll lay her down, and she'll sleep the rest of the time. So I'm trying to get her to the point where she sleeps the entire time, but like I said, I think I've told you before, she's only six months old, so she's still really little. She's still learning and getting into our routine, but 
yeah, I made my lunch. Let me show you what it is. Pretty much same thing as last time, except for I have an applesauce pouch instead of a banana. So these are the white cheddar organic Doritos. And then I have this sandwich. It's turkey, pepperoni, cheese, lettuce mixed with mayonnaise and Italian dressing on my homemade bread for my last video. It comes to be about 682 calories. Um, yes, hey please. guys, it's about 345. I'm not eating anything right now, but I just want to give you an update. The baby, there's her hand. She slept the entire nap time from like 145 to 255. She slept the whole time. And she probably would have slept longer, but I had to wake everybody up. But yeah, I was so surprised. She did such a good job. Did you do a good job? Hey, yeah? You're kicking me, stop kicking me. I have three little girls here. I have this one, and then I have sisters, three and... It's almost your birthday. Do you know that? Yeah. In like a month, you're gonna be two. Yeah? yeah? She's not two yet. She's still one. She'll be two on Halloween. Her birthday's on Halloween. Oh, and I have a kid with a birthday on Christmas. Very interesting. Um, yeah, I just wanna hop on here and give you that little update. My, um, they're all like laying on top of me. My dinner is smelling delicious in the crock pot. <coughs> uh oh, uh, the baby's pulling her hair. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna go, but I'll hop back on here when it's time to get the rest of dinner ready. Bye. Hey friends, it's almost six o'clock. I am just doing the final touches to my dinner. So let me show you where I am right now with it. Okay, so this is what the chicken looks like. I already shredded it. It smells really, really good. Then I cooked some of this pasta. It is this protein plus penne. I measured out about six ounces of it dry and then I cooked it. I'm gonna dump that in there. I'm going to do a third cup of this shredded Parmesan and then I do a third cup of milk. I'm gonna pour that all in there, mix it up and then we'll see what it looks like. Okay, here's what it looks like all mixed in together. I'm gonna let it sit just for a little bit and kinda just let the new ingredients settle and then I'll be back once I have it all plated up. Here it is. I have this like whole bowl here is about 450 calories. It has 47 grams of protein. So a ton of protein. Let's try a bite. I'm not gonna lie, I've tried the chicken and it tastes really good. Let's try it with the noodles. It's pretty tasty. I think um, next time I may add, if you watch the TikTok video, you'll see at the end she puts it over lettuce. Um, but I think next time I may add some spinach, just throw that in the crock pot. Um, probably towards the end, if you left it in a crock pot all day, it'd get gross, but at least I think it would. But I might add some spinach just for, more, for some more vitamins. Um, I don't think you would even need to use a protein pasta. That's just what I had in the cupboard if you're looking to increase your protein because the chicken itself has a ton of protein. Um, but yeah, it's really good. I might add more cheese next time though because it's not super cheesy. But thumbs up. It's going to be a good dinner. Um, that whole crock pot, I divided it into four servings. So it'll have give me dinner for the next three nights tonight and then three more nights. That's good. You could probably divide it into five or six servings too if you want a smaller portion, if you want less calories. Totally up to you, but yeah. So this is dinner, and I will come back on here when I'm ready for dessert. Bye. Hey, guys. So I am just hanging out on the couch. It's like 7. Um, I'm drinking a juice box. So one of my daycare moms brought these over because her daughter didn't like them. She's like, do you want them? You want to give them to the kids? I'm like, yeah, sure. And I always forget to give them to the kids. But honestly, they would all probably just squeeze this and spill juice everywhere. But if I remember one day, I'll give them to them. But I always forget. So I'm like, I might as well drink it. Pretty good. It's grape. I don't know the calories, but I'm not worried about it. Um, oh, it's 40 calories. There you go. Um, yeah, it's like seven. I had planned at the beginning of the week to go to the gym today after work but um that didn't happen I went twice this week already um I think I'm giving myself kind of a break this week because I'm supposed to start my period in like probably less than a week TMI sorry but I've just kind of been learning more stuff about that and how the week before you know you kind of get a little more moody or feel tired and I'm just like 
really tired so I'm trying to just listen to my body and not go and that's what I'm gonna do I'm trying I don't feel lazy I just feel like I just don't have it in me to go to the gym tonight um but yeah I don't know I want to try to start getting myself into the habit I think I I've tried this so many different times in my life but I'm gonna try it again to make myself start getting up at 5 a.m. every day um just well, essentially just two hours before my work day starts so tomorrow I'm gonna get up at six because my first kids won't come till eight so I'm gonna get up at six um and just have a slow morning even if I don't do anything productive like pedal or read my bible I'm, I need to read my bible because I haven't read it the last two mornings I think I even said this morning that I was gonna go read my bible and then I didn't. I came in here and sat on the couch. <laughs> I should do that right now. Um, but I definitely at least want to do that tomorrow morning. But just like get my body used to getting up in the morning. So maybe even tomorrow, the next week or so, maybe I'll just get up and not do anything. And just lay around and we'll get ready for the day and stuff and read my Bible. But other than that, maybe I won't do anything. Maybe I'll pedal. Just to get myself into the habit of getting up early. So next week I'll probably start getting up at 5 because my first kid comes at 7.05. So, I don't know, that's, not, that's a thing I'm playing around with in my head. I always get pretty ambitious, though, in the late afternoon evenings about getting up early and then my alarm goes off in the morning and it just does not happen. Uh, but I just, I feel like I just need to set that kind of pace for myself. Um, I haven't, I don't mind going to work out after work, but I feel like if I could just get back in the routine of getting up in the mornings and going to the gym before work because I used to go to workout class on Tuesdays and Thursdays and that was such a good routine to be in getting up before work and getting a workout in and then it's done then you have the whole evening you don't have to go to the gym you don't have to try to squeeze it in in between different activities like almost every night I have stuff to do like Mondays I try to go visit my grandma Tuesdays I try to go hang out with my brothers Wednesdays I have church dinner Thursdays I have bells Friday nights right now my brother plays football and my other brother's in the band so I usually go to their games and watch them I'm not complaining I am very very thankful that I have all that stuff to do I choose to put all that stuff on my plate because I think it's important to spend time with your loved ones and you know when I go to church I think it's important to you know be involved in your church community and all that kind of stuff so I'm not complaining when I say that but that's the reason I want to try to work out more in the mornings before work so that after I'm done with work I can just completely enjoy my evening move at a slower pace and not feel like I'm rushing around to everything so and I don't plan on working out at lifting every day at the gym like I probably my goal is to go three days a week to the gym and lift um yeah and I've kind of realized I don't love going to the gym on Saturday mornings I kind of want to phase that out that used to be a big thing for me I'd get up on Saturday mornings and go to the gym okay I got one day done because Saturdays used to kind of be my beginning of the weeks because that's when I weighed in but I've talked about that recently I'm just kind of I don't have a set weigh in day and I don't even weigh myself that much anymore um but so I'm trying to figure out three weekday mornings that I can get up and go to the gym but like I said I'm gonna take my time with it because I've always just had like an, I always have an all or nothing thing. Like, well, I didn't do it this morning, so I just can't. I can't be a person that goes up in the morning because this morning and for the last five mornings, I've not gotten up. But that doesn't mean I can't eventually do it. So I'm just going to keep trying. I don't know. We'll see what happens next time I film. I think I'm going to do, I think I told you I was going to do a Saturday vlog. And I think I'm going to do a Sunday vlog because Saturday I just have a bunch of different stuff to do. And I feel like I'm not going to be home a lot to film my day I mean Sunday the bulk of my morning is at church but I'll be home like all afternoon or maybe I'll film both days and just splice it together I don't know yet we'll see how I feel Saturday morning when I wake up but yeah I just felt like kind of going on that rant and telling you how I've been feeling I think I said earlier this morning like it's just, it was just a morning with the kids and it's not that they were necessarily misbehaving it's just I can feel like myself not being as patient as I normally am and tired, more tired and a little bit more on edge. And that's, that's, that's for me and not saying the kids were, were perfect today cause they definitely weren't, 
but usually I'm able to be more patient, but you know, sometimes we all just, we all have a week like that every once in a while, so yeah, I don't know why I'm going on this ramble, but yeah, I'm still just gonna keep going, not give up, and keep chugging along. I'm gonna just keep enjoying this juice box. I don't know what I'm gonna do. If I wanna watch TV or a movie, just scroll on my phone. I don't know, but I'm sure I'll eat dessert in a little bit, so see you then. All right, guys, I am gonna end my night with three of these Tate's Bake Shop um, Butter Crunch Cookies. Um, that'll leave me, or that'll put me at around like 1760-ish, I think, for the day. Um, but yeah, that's all I've got for you today. So if you did enjoy this video, like always, please give me a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, press that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm gonna try to hit 2K soon. Well, hopefully soon, who knows? I think I'm still like 900 away. Well, maybe like 800, but. Anyways, please do all those things. All those things do really help out my channel. Also, come find me on Instagram and TikTok. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.